Hello guys, Lunar here and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at what are some of the best weapons to get in Remnant 2. There are over 80 weapons to find in game but not all of them are made equal and I've narrowed the list down to around 20 of my favourites and then chose 6 for the video. So let's take a look at what makes them good and how to get them. Number 1 is Alpha Omega. If you're someone who's skilled at consistently hitting your shots then Alpha Omega could be an excellent choice of weapon. Its standout feature is the Beta Ray Weapon mod, which leaves a mark on enemies every time you hit them. When these marked enemies are defeated, they leave behind a unique symbol on the ground. Reloading your weapon or swapping to another weapon will trigger the symbol to explode, dealing damage to nearby enemies. This explosive effect is particularly effective for hitting multiple enemies at once. Now to add the Alpha Omega to your collection, you'll need to overcome Annihilation, the formidable final boss in Remnant 2. While this encounter presents a significant challenge, the reward is the Forgotten Memory item, and you can take this to McCabe, who can use it to craft Alpha Omega for you. Aphelion is an intriguing firearm that becomes yours by triumphing over the Shalhalla Guardian boss in Nehrud. However, securing it will require you to utilize a specific method to defeat the boss, which involves obtaining the Override Pin. The Override Pin can only be found in the Timeless Horizon, one of the two areas of Nehrud, and you take this all the way to the final boss and you can insert the override pin into the console, which will give you an alternate final boss who, once you defeat, will give you a Phalion. Although it is important to note that if you use this method of the override pin, it will make the entire of Nehrud inaccessible. So make sure that you don't do this in story mode, but in adventure mode where you can constantly reset the game. This futuristic rifle boasts Supernova mod, allowing it to generate a mobile flare capable of inflicting burning damage to anything it touches. Furthermore, its standard firing mode, a curved beam, has the potential to initiate a more substantial explosion. The Chicago Typewriter, a cherished returning weapon from Remnant from the Ashes, has made a comeback for a compelling reason. It's simply a highly effective weapon choice. Most effective in short to medium range engagements, its generous ammunition capacity allows for sustained firing making it particularly potent against bosses with limited openings for attacks that could otherwise leave you invulnerable while reloading. To find the Chicago Typewriter, you can find it in Leto's stash, and in order to get this, you have to go to the Labyrinth, and you have to make your way through a bunch of different areas, and you can travel to the Fractured English Checkpoint, you follow the path right, and then there is a portal here, which you go behind, and then there's one you can drop down and go through. And then you follow the path, you climb a bunch of walls and jump between ledges and you will find a secret door and you need the biome portal key in order to access it and this will reach Leto's stash. Where you can find Leto's armour but the Chicago typewriter as well. The XMG57 Bonesaw stands as an imposing force on the battlefield. With its substantial magazine it permits prolonged continuous fire and its accuracy improves the longer you keep firing. This quality makes it an exceptional pairing with the Hotshot weapon mod which is recommended as the first mod to acquire, as it enhances your damage output significantly. But while it serves as the starting weapon for the medic archetype, the bone sock can also be purchased from Bravis in War 13 at any point during the storyline. Its early availability for upgrade makes it a sound choice for the diverse character builds, especially when considering its synergy with the Hotshot mod. For those who prefer a methodical approach to combat, Deceit is a remarkable firearm. Although it holds a modest number of rounds in its magazine, each shot delivers substantial damage to your adversaries. This characteristic makes it particularly suitable for the Hunter class, but remains effective across various archetypes. Securing Deceit necessitates defeating one of the endgame bosses in La Somme during a playthrough intertwined with the storyline involving the Imposter Kings, which, faced with the choice between Fei Lin and Fei Rin, ought to eliminate Fei Lin, this decision yields the Imposter's Heart, a crucial item that you can take to McCabe in order to craft the Deceit weapon. Nightfall possesses inherently lethality, fully realised when paired with the Dreadwalker weapon modification. This mod enables you to enter the Nightmare Realm for a brief period, and during this time the gun transforms into a fully automatic weapon. Grants unlimited ammunition, boosts your fire rate by 35% and provides a 10% lifesteal effect. Additionally, existing in the Nightmare Realm enhances your evasive capabilities. To obtain Nightfall, you must conquer the Night Weaver in the Somme. This battle serves as the concluding encounter of the playthrough in the biome, with the story features in the Sanatorium. Victory yields the Cursed Dream Silks, a crucial ingredient in the crafting process, which again you can take to McCabe in Ward 13. 
So guys, that is it for this one. Six of the best weapons to use in Remnant 2, along with how to get them in-game. There are a bunch of other really good weapons, which I might go over in another video if you guys enjoy this one. And if you did like it, like and subscribe for more, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.